Hi guys, weekly wrap time, and uh, what a massive day last Saturday at the Everest. Um, Mazu, he looked fantastic. He was uh, obviously, he, and I thought he ran really well. He obviously went back, Tommy went back on him, and uh, and he looked like he was just about to get a run and was very unlucky, which was which was always going to be the case, but. Uh, but uh, he looked fantastic. Yeah, he certainly did. I thought he presented uh, outstanding. Peter and Paul did a, a terrific job. He had dapples on dapples. He was looking absolutely super and prime for the day. Uh, as you say, we always need some luck from that uh, wide barrier, but the way things worked out, I thought uh, the first half of the race was terrific. Tommy um, took him back, but then managed to get back in on the rail behind I Wish I Win, which uh, looked to be the perfect spot given the barrier that we had. And uh, you'd think I wish I win would take us into the race, but unfortunately, just as Marzu was uh, starting his run and, and starting to surge, I wish I win went through a bit of a flat spot, which he can do. And uh, so he had to get off his back uh, to keep momentum going. He spotted a gap, got in there for about two strides and uh, the door was shut abruptly and uh, actually quite lucky he didn't come down. But um, look, he was, uh, he was terrific. The way he picked himself up is not easy to do when a horse loses all momentum like that. Uh, and so suddenly to pick himself up and finish off uh, in good time uh, was very, very impressive. So I think he was in for a very big run. Uh, Tommy was adamant after the race that had he got through that run, he, he reckons he would have finished sort of third, fourth, fifth uh, in that neck of the woods. And um, that would have been an outstanding result from that wide barrier. Yeah, absolutely. Bring How on. How good was the day? Oh, no. It's the atmosphere out there. There's no day like it on the racetrack. It was uh, electric atmosphere. Everyone's singing and partying, and uh, what a wonderful day of racing. Great racing in Sydney and Melbourne, actually. Yeah, huge day. The weather was spectacular, and a uh, few people worse for wear by uh, mid to late afternoon. So uh, that, was, uh, <laughs> that, that. that was entertainment in itself. But uh, And uh, bring on the giga kick a uh, couple yeah. of weeks for Marzu, and uh, he should be primed there. Yeah, I think so. He'll be ready to go. Um, obviously, he's had a bit of an interrupted preparation, but... Uh, that outing on Saturday, that, that adds to his fitness and um, oh, let's let's get down on knees and pray for a good yeah. barrier. Uh, that'll be crucial. It'll be a, a quality race again, but uh, I'm sure he'll be very, very competitive. Absolutely. Beautiful morning. This morning I was out at Ramwick and uh, we had three trialists. Uh, first first trial for Pieronimo, the two-year-old. Uh, we had Zoo Prince, who was uh, first trial back from a spell, and uh, Miss Hellfire, who looked absolutely fantastic. Um, in her first trial as well. Yeah, I was pleased with all of them actually this morning. Um, I thought the the baby, the two-year-old Peter Ronimo, uh, he was always going to go out after this. He's been showing signs that he wasn't quite ready for it. Um, but it was more just getting that good experience and that's exactly what he had, which was great. Uh, that'll give him a good head start for next preparation. And Zoo Prince, I thought he went really well. He's a horse who takes a bit of extra work to get fit, but um, he did very well before tiring late. Uh, I think he's in for a good prep, as is Miss Hellfire. She was uh, very, very good this morning. Mm. Uh, so if we get into this week's racing, uh, in a couple of hours, as mentioned last week, big day down in Canberra, in a couple of hours we have, uh, to his credit, Diablo Bolt going head to head, uh, both for new stables. Uh, so that'll be interesting. Hopefully we get the Quinella there and then uh, nullify a little later on. So it uh, be exciting to see how they go. Yeah, it certainly will. Um, look, I think all, all three actually are in a probably a similar boat. I think they're all going to be uh, very competitive in this race, but uh, it'll come down to a bit of luck in running. And whoever gets that luck uh, should be hopefully able to fight out a, a finish. So, um, yeah, let's hope for a bit of joy there. Absolutely. Uh, tomorrow, massive day tomorrow, starting yeah. with uh, Pia Rosa, yeah, hoping to go back to back. Um, she's in a, another benchmark 88 with a few more kilos this time, but uh, she looks great and uh, hopefully she can uh, get that win up again. Yeah, she was uh, excellent last start out winning at Rose Hill. Uh, she did that from barrier two, um, which I think we've uh, we mentioned before, it's not the most ideal barrier for her. Um, and she's got barrier, barrier one actually yeah. this week. Uh, at Ramwick over the 2,000 metres again. Um, she's been running really well. She's been in great form as she's been building up to these trips. Uh, Julie saluted last time and I think she'll go very close again this time. Uh, is a bit concerning that barrier, probably a bit more so than last time because of uh, just where all the speed is. It's out wide and they'll be working hard to, to get across and she might get trapped back. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's hope uh, she can step well from the gates and get into a you know, half decent position and if she gets even luck, then um, I think she's going to be very competitive and fighting out the finish again.
Absolutely, and we've got a cast of thousands of owners coming tomorrow. So uh, I said to Peter and Tom this morning, a uh, lot of expectation tomorrow, even more than last time. So uh, fingers, fingers crossed. Uh, Rev Miss tomorrow, massive day, Caulfield Cup day down in Melbourne, and uh, Rev Miss is in the group to Tristark. Uh, she's getting back up to her preferred distance, and uh, she'll be fitter for her last run. Yeah, I thought she went really well in the Nivison. Um, she is a horse who keeps improving into her preparations and um, I can't wait to get down to see her uh, tomorrow at Caulfield. It's going to be a, an awesome day. Uh, Mark Zara on board has got a good association with Rev Miss and uh, unfortunately ba drawn a bad barrier again, um, which isn't helping the cause. But uh, look, she's well and truly up to this, uh, this grade in this Group 2 event and um, if she can get some luck uh, in the running from that bad gate, then... She'll certainly be fighting out the finish, but uh, she's a high quality mare. And um, as I say, she improves into her preparation. So our next couple of runs, I dare say, might be even better, but um, she'll be right up to these. And Caulfield Cup Day is bucket list for me. And unfortunately, uh, just happens to be on my son's birthday. And uh, I tried to negotiate with my wife about uh, celebrating next week, but didn't have any luck. So I'm a bit jealous <laughs> about you enough. heading down tomorrow. And uh, sounds like there's a large group of owners heading down as well. So yeah, it'll, awesome day. it'll be a great day. That's oh, right. We'll tell you all about it afterwards. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, very excited about uh, Sir Artie tomorrow, who's turning out at Kembla Grange. He's had uh, 70 weeks since his last run. Uh, he's been very unlucky with injury, probably created a bit of that himself, but, uh, but uh, he's stepping out tomorrow. Not a great barrier, but uh, I think Pete's just pretty keen to get him up and running and uh, back to the races. Oh, he is. I mean, it, it's, look, there's been no major injury with him. It's just been a, a few little uh, minor injuries, but uh, one after the other, which... Uh, has been frustrating because he's shown uh, some really nice ability in the past. He's had six starts, one win, uh, one second, I think it is. And, um, has, yeah, he's shown that he's got some nice ability there. So really looking forward to getting him going. Obviously, after a long time out, he's going to need the run. I'm sure he's going to improve into this preparation. Uh, bad barrier again, but, um, mate, it's going to be awesome to get him started and uh, looking forward to this prep ahead. And our last one for the, for the week looks like Belyave nominated on Thursday. Uh, up at Gosford, she's in a super maiden, so uh, big dollars on offer f for that. And uh, and the up in she's she's rock hard fit up in trip, so uh, fingers crossed she can get a result there. I think so. I think um, she's been running uh, running nicely of late. Just needs a needs a good gate here, especially around this track uh, would be ideal for her. And obviously, without seeing the final field, I think uh, if she does draw a nice low gate, um, she'll be. She'll be right in it, so hopefully she can knock off that win. For sure. Now, I'm a bit embarrassed to call it this, but it's red hot tip time. And, Not uh, that red hot last week? Is no, that what you're saying? no. One from six last week. Uh, mm. You got up alligator blood, and uh, that's about it. So uh, <laughs> hopefully we can do, we can do better. a little better um, this weekend. I have two, both at, uh, both at Randwick. Um, firstly, race six. Uh, I'm not sure of the number, but Dashing Legend. Oh, yeah. uh, she's, uh, she's a four-year-old mare moved to a new stable with Joe Pryor, <clears throat> a very good stable, yep. and uh, she's been very good in the past first up. So, uh, so she's my first one. She's pretty good value at 480. Um, and I'm embarrassed to say that uh, Here we uh, go. I have one that's nearing odds on. But, Excellent. Uh, so I don't quite like doing this, but... Uh, um, race seven, <coughs> number 11 at Ramwick, <coughs> unspoken. Um, the only reason I'm throwing this one in is I was hearing uh, Peter and Tom this morning. Tom's not riding him because there was a bit of an error with the weights, but uh, Peter and Tom talking about him and uh, Peter was raving about him. So I thought, oh, well, I'll whack it in. And for those who like the odds on favourites, you might give it a crack. Well, has been running well, so... Uh, that might be a good tip. I'm uh, at Randwick. I'm going to go in the Five Diamonds Prelude with uh, Zoom On, uh, who's first up. Um, I think uh, not a huge amount of confidence, but I think might be a nice place chance uh, in that race. So uh, fingers crossed there. And then down at Caulfield, I've got a few. Um, there's a few very short ones, uh, or a couple of very short ones, and then a half decent one. <laughs> so race two, Rift Rocket uh, for the win with uh, J Mac on board before we go into the following race with uh, Tropical Squall. Uh, again, for another win, and again, very short. 
Uh, and then I think Don Corleone in race four uh, has been racing well and is a very good each way chance at um, probably each way odds. Yeah, I like Don Corleone. I think uh, he's got to he's got to do well this time. Uh, he needs to do well, but uh, maybe maybe there's a, a couple in there that we they could include in a multi. I reckon so. <laughs> Wouldn't even know how to fill out a multi uh, <laughs> ticket, but uh, it sounds good, yeah, doesn't it? Very good. Right, guys. Well, uh, that's it for the week. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll talk to you next week. Enjoy.